Good morning. It is almost 9.25 on Saturday morning. Anybody watching? How you doing? How you been? How's your week? Oh my god, it's so sunny out. It's very powerful today. Excuse my nasty shed, but I'm not sitting over in the sun. It's way too hot. <laughs> way too hot. So I thought I would vlog really quick this morning because today, today's the day. It's happening. I'm so excited. I hope the weather holds. Oh my god. Uh -uh. It's my coworker and her boyfriend and her granddaughter are coming over tonight and we're doing a movie night in the backyard with a projector and the big screen. And, oh, I'm so excited. <clears throat> we're going to get pizza and she's going to bring a whole bunch of chips and snacks. And I brought, I got um, a whole bunch of pop and a box of s'mores. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Boo Boo ended up working today, but he's done at five. And I'm pretty sure she said they were going to come around six. So I said, you know, I brought her an extra 20 bucks for pizza because Big Daddy's supposed to come down this afternoon. He's going to try. <clears throat> he moves at the end of the month, so he's finishing up his, you know, last bit of tidy up, cleaning out his shed, all that kind of stuff. So he said he's going to work on that a bit today and try and get here this afternoon. So I brought my friend some extra money for pizza, <clears throat> for the extra pizzas, because we've gone from having what, three, from having six people to having almost nine. So, <laughs> it's like, give me some money and go get some more pizza. <laughs> we need to feed everybody. <clears throat> because Boo Boo wants to have his buddy and his buddy's girlfriend over, which is fine. <sighs> and then my boyfriend's coming down, hopefully. So, I don't have enough chairs. <laughs> Some people are going to be sitting on the floor, on the grass, like get blankets or something. I have four chairs here on my patio, and I have three camping chairs that we usually put out around the fire pit when we do a fire, and that's all the chairs that I have. So. I know. My coworker is bringing chairs for her group. And I said, well, bring swimsuits or shorts and t-shirts. I don't care. What you, I, I don't care what you wear in the pool, but bring something that you can wear in the pool and some towels just in case. If it's a nice evening, you know, we go swimming or whatever. We'll do a fire, do pizza. And... Wasp, get away from my coffee, my dude. Come on so stupid this time of year um but then she called me what time did I go get him from work I think picked up boo boo for eight o'clock so she called around eight last night and she said I'm sending you a picture I was like okay so she sent me this picture it's like a screenshot of the weather network or something and even when I made it big it was quite small but I could see the temperatures were all in Fahrenheit, which means nothing to me. And I said, those temperatures mean nothing to me. What is that in Celsius? <laughs> she says, no, 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 the temperatures are fine. She says, keep reading. I said, I can't see. Oh, these wasps, go away. If you sting me, my guy, we're going to have a problem. <sighs> go away. Um, she said... I said, it's too small, I can't see it. So she's like, rain, lots and lots of rain. Like all night from like seven o'clock on. Like thunder showers, all that kind of stuff. I was like, no, <laughs> no, I <you> can't. <laughs> I bought s'mores. <laughs> so we're gonna play it by ear. You can go in my coffee, did you? Okay. We're going to play it by ear, and I said, you know, if 
if if it rains, we'll bring everybody in the house. We'll do our pizza. <laughs> Kids can play. <laughs> you know, the twenty somethings can all go upstairs and whatever. The preteens can play downstairs. Play. <laughs> Uh, we can all congregate in the dining room or something and do old people things. <laughs> Play cards or something. My coworker and I would love that. I think we both like to play cards. <laughs> the men, I don't think they'd be too impressed. <laughs> really hoping the weather holds. I've been looking forward to this so so is Boo Boo, actually. It's, it's, <gasps> Kitty! Hello, my kitty friend. I haven't seen you in forever. Hello, kitty, kitty. Kitty came. Let's see if we can swap over without her running away. Kitty! There's my kitty friend. She's so pretty. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, my friend. Good girl. Oh, snuggling my toes. Yes. You're so good. You're so good. Yes. <laughs> She's just the sweetest thing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, no, I'm all hairy. So, yeah, we're really hoping the rain holds. If it doesn't, then we'll try again probably in... Uh, in October because both of us have all kinds of plans in September September is just crazy <clears throat> so I said October might be kind of fun like it'll be it should be a little cooler but like no humidity but not like cold and you know the fire would be really enjoyable and it might be kind of cool oh you want tummy rubs Oh, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> You're tickling my toes with your fur. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm so excited. We have both been so excited for like weeks. We've been planning this for weeks. <laughs> I think we're more excited about it than the kids are. <laughs> She's like, well, we could do it in September, but it would have to be on like a Friday night. I was like, my dude. There is no way you and I are going to survive a night being social on a Friday night. Like, it's... Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> no I, I can't do a day at work and then come home and... Be fun. <laughs> we'd sit down, start the movie, and we'd both pass the fuck out. Like, no way. <laughs> no way. I'm gonna light my smoke. I know. She's getting mad because I'm not petting her. Hello, sweetheart. Hello. It's a good girl. Look at you. You're so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> I haven't seen you for days. I thought we weren't friends anymore. Hey. Eh? I thought maybe we weren't friends anymore. What happened? Hmm? Did you get busy doing kitty things? <laughs> you are just so cute. Oh my god. I can't with you. <laughs> we have a new house that we're doing. And yesterday was the first time I've been there. I think, I think my coworker said they were there like a month ago. I haven't been there yet. So it seems like we're going to be doing this place once a month. And she says to me, before we go in the house, she stops and she grabs me and she gets all serious and she's like, whatever you do, don't pet the dog. Like, what? Why? <laughs> That's so mean. Why would you say something so hurtful? <laughs> I always pet the dogs and the cats and like, I... The, the enjoyable part about this job is all the animals. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Perry
apparently the dog doesn't like to be pet by anybody but his daddy. So I'm like, fair enough, okay. If the dog doesn't like it, we don't want to stress him out. So we get in the house and I can hear it barking down in the basement. And I can hear the homeowner down there with the dog. And we walked in and I was like, hi, cleaners. I said, I wasn't here last month when we came. I said, I hear that you have the sweetest little pooch. She doesn't like to be pet. I really like to see her. <laughs> so, <laughs> he starts laughing. He comes up. He's holding this little dog. It wasn't a Shih Tzu and it wasn't a Lap Tzu. I don't know what the hell kind of dog it was, but it was small. It had fluffy, floppy ears. It had like one of those tiny little faces, a little scrunched nose, and oh my god, he was so cute. He looked like a piece of velvet. I wanted to pet it so bad. <laughs> That's just mean. <laughs> so, you know, I'm gushing over this dog, and, and I mean, the guy is huge. Big dude. Like, just generally a big dude. And this dog is so tiny. Like, the dog almost disappears in his arms. It was so funny. And, uh, Kitty's gone over there to pout. <laughs> so I'm talking to the dog. The dog's snuggling in his arms. I'm ta like, uh, talking to the dog. Like, hey, you know, we're going to be friends. It's okay. Give it a little bit. You, you know, we'll come in. You'll be, you know, back down, belly up. <laughs> Because my coworker gives all the animals treats, right? Earn their trust with treats. <laughs> so they learn to anticipate us coming because, you know, the cleaners coming means food. And then we get down and we, you know, talk to them and whatever. And we, we get to pet them and then they love us and they can't wait for us to come. It's awesome. <laughs> We have animals, cats and dogs alike, that will sit at the door on our scheduled day and wait for us. <laughs> and I love that. <laughs> it was so sweet. And then we did our last was our last house yeah our last house of the day was this big jesus house that we did last friday we're doing them every friday now it is such a big house oh my god i think the husband is a police officer i don't know what she does but this house is stupid big like unnecessarily big <sighs> but it went a lot of you. I think we were there for three hours. Two and a half, three hours. Three, yeah, three hours last Friday. And I don't think that house was cleaned before they moved in. And not even after. Like, it was... It, I would have been embarrassed if I was that. <laughs> Quite frankly. Um... And there was four of us last week working on that house. And we were there for three hours. Like, first time cleans are a lot of work anyway, because you're doing all the nooks and crannies, like every little thing that most people just don't do or don't do often, right? <clears throat> And that's fine. We're all guilty of that. I don't do my baseboards all the time. I might do my baseboards every six months. <laughs> you know, I never do my windows. I could give a fuck about my windows. They're as old as God, and there's just no point. You, you, you can Windex them in, all day long, and they're still going to look like ass. So I just don't bother. <sighs> you know, think. So, but this house, this house was another level. And with four people, it still took three hours. It also speaks to the size of the house. Like, the rooms are just huge. There's a lot of rooms, and they're all big. The basement is probably about as big as the main level of the, of the house. Like, it's just, it's just super big. There's four people. Like, you know, a husband, a wife, and two kids. This house could probably fit, you know, a couple generations. Like, it's crazy.
So don't bite me, kitty. I will pet you in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to pet her. She's getting mad. Hi. Hi. Okay? All right. <laughs> she's, she's nibbling on my ankles. <laughs> Just bask in the sun. There's a good girl. <laughs> Jesus. You get, you get too rough, you're going to have to go home, my love. <laughs> Oh my god. I honestly thought for a moment we weren't going to be able to do it. Sad. Uh, uh, because my coworker and I were getting our stuff out of the van and the new hire was already at the door and she's like, we can't get in. It's like, we didn't have a key and there's no code for anything. And the wife had said she was taking the kids to the beach or something. But her car was in the driveway, so we we're kind of confused. We're like, all right, well, you know, we'll have to knock or ring the bell or whatever and wait. Like, you know, whatever. So we're ringing the bell and knocking on the door and we're waiting. And my coworker goes like, like, are you sure? Because like her car is here and everything. Like, and they want this house done. Like, they don't want to clean it. They want us to clean it. The door, freaking door was open. Like, I don't know what this new hire's problem is, but she gotta go. She gotta go. I'm telling you, the last three days have been so trying. It's just nibbling on my tarp. These last three days that my boss has been on holiday and we've had to work with this broad. Uh, we're over it. We're done. Like... Uh, Never mind the personality clash, like, and it's a huge clash. <clears throat> I don't have to talk to her in the van, okay? We don't have to do the mindless chit chat to talk about work and work related things. Other than that, I really have nothing to say to her. I don't even say good morning to her, or goodbye to her anymore. Like, I just don't, I just don't care. And, and I can't be bothered to fake it. draining <laughs> but the dumbass stuff but the absolutely mindless tone-deaf crap that comes out of this broad's mouth is absolutely mind-blowing absolutely mind-blowing she's got to be somewhere in her 50s she actually she actually I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna get nasty <laughs> She's got to be somewhere in her 50s. And you don't know how to even pretend to people. Like, I am not the best in social situations. Even with people that I've known for years, I can get kind of quiet, kind of awkward. <laughs> My humor is... not at all PC. <laughs> So, but I can, I can say a sentence and not drop 12 F-bombs. This broad can't. And she does it in people's houses. She's done it with the customers at home. Like, if you... If you can't think of another word to say, please don't speak in people's homes. I'm just saying. That's why I don't get into conversations with people in the homes. Because I tend to drop a lot of F-bombs. Nowhere near as much as this girl does. It's impressive. But I do. So I just don't get into conversations in people's homes. Because I know it's going to happen. <laughs> You'll tell her, okay, we're going to get to this house. In this house, we have to do this, 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 then this. And she's like, okay, 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 I know, I know. She knows everything. She's that person. 
then we get to the place and she does everything her own way like there's there's a very specific way in all houses the order may vary depending on the layout of the house but in all the houses there's a very specific way that we do things because especially for well mainly for the other two people because the one that's doing the wiping and the mopping my co-worker needs to have the wiping done before the other girl who's doing the sweeping and the vacuuming, right? Because when you're wiping shit down, she falls on the floor. So it starts off with the new hire following my coworker around the house, right? Then when she's done the wiping, it switches. And my coworker follows the new hire because she has to mop. So all the sweeping and vacuuming has to be done before my coworker starts mopping. And she'll come in and just throw a, a great big old juicy monkey in the wrench. And my coworker ends up standing around waiting for her to do what she's doing so that she can mop. Like it's just so frustrating and I'm so glad that I don't see the, the majority of it because I would lose my mind. <clears throat> Where I get frustrated is when I go into the kitchen after doing, you know, three full bathrooms and a powder room and I make it to the kitchen before she does. <sighs> and there's a specific order to do in the kitchen. So, you know, bottom shelves, or bottom cabinetry, top cabinetry, counters, right? Then sinks, stove, microwave, and if they're stainless, we do stainless. Touch up the windows if there's windows in the kitchen, like, you know. So I'll start, and she'll come in and be like, where, where, where can I help you? So if I'm doing the, the, the cabinetry, I'm going to finish all the cabinetry. It's like, okay, well, you can start on the counter and, you know, the end stuff, right? When I'm done the cabinetry, we'll see where you're at and I'll, you know, and I'll say, okay, so you're, you're finishing off the counters, the cabinetry is all done, I'm going to move on to the sink and stove if you can do the microwave and the stainless, right? She'll negate the microwave completely kind of do the stainless but then we have to redo it she doesn't she doesn't use enough product is the problem and she won't listen when we say you need to use more product <clears throat> and then if she gets into the kitchen before I do she'll start on the cabinetry like she'll start on the upper cabinetry then go to the counter and then go to the sink and stove, and it's like... So when I come in, I go, what are you doing? And she says, oh, I'm doing the, ca the, the cabinetry. I'll go start on the counter, and she'll be like, oh no, I did that already. But you said that you're doing cabinetry. Why is the counter already done? It's, it, it's so confusing. It's so confusing. <sighs> I've gotten to the point now where if she's in the kitchen before me, I'll do like the little finish. I'll Windex. <laughs> That's the other thing. She'll Windex. I'll, I'll do stainless. And then she'll go in Windex like if you do a stainless stove. Right? Then there's like the glass window. She'll Windex the window, but she'll spray the window and then wipe it which then drips down over all the stainless I've just done. And she's been told several times, if the stainless is done before the Windexing, spray your cloth and do the one. Like, she doesn't listen. She's got to go. She's got to go. Like, we're done. We're done. Monday and Tuesday is going to be interesting because it's going to be me, my boss, and 
when you hire. I'm not going to say a word. I'm not going to say a word. It'll be fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then Friday, me and my boss and my co and, and the new hire are going to do that great big Jesus house that we ended with yesterday and another house that we all loathe and despise. Every other Friday is just going to suck. <laughs> it's just going to suck. That's just the way it is. <clears throat> These two houses that we absolutely cannot stand, they're both huge and present interesting issues when cleaning them. <laughs> it's just... <sighs> I don't know. But I have so much to do before my company comes tonight. I have to mow my lawns, or at least the back lawn. <laughs> and I have to tidy up my house. I have to go get some hot dogs because I would really like to roast some hot dogs in the fire tonight, weather permitting. <laughs> And I have to uh, skim the pool a little bit, so yeah, we're at the 26 minute mark, so I'm going to boot and start getting some stuff, well, let's be honest, I'm going to have one more coffee, and then I'm going to start getting stuff done, so uh, my kitty friend went away, so anybody who happens to be watching, thank you, I appreciate you, take care of yourself, and we'll talk later.